Hi there! So today I'm going to be teaching you how to install vinyl graphics on a surface, um, typically a vehicle, um, but this technique works for applying to just about any surface. So uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure your surface is clean. Uh, you can usually do that with just uh, simple just water and a paper towel. Just kind of hold it down and and wipe it dry. Um, remember, if you're doing this on a vehicle, uh, to avoid scratching the paint, you want to, you know, if it's particularly dirty, uh, especially with like sand, uh, you want to really be gentle and not do a lot of circular, um, heavy, hard scrubbing. You just kind of want to get it really, really wet and gently kind of brush it off and do that a couple times until it, it's, you know, clean enough that you can actually rub it down a little bit better. Um, also, if your vehicle uh, is greasy or has any kind of, you know, wax or anything on it, um, you de definitely do not want to have your car waxed before you do this. Um, and if it, if it has been waxed recently, you'll, you're going to want to remove that wax with some kind of, you know, wax remover. Um, rubbing alcohol typically can work pretty well, um, just for a, a final wipe down, um, just to get any excess dirt or grease or that kind of thing off. Um, and most importantly, uh, at least for the kind of vinyl that we're using here, which is a, a has an air release backer, um, little, little grooves in it so bubbles come out easier. You're going to want your surface to be very, very dry. Um, so after you've done your cleaning, you just want to go over it with a dry paper towel and make sure it's nice and dry. Um, and also, you know, it's not a big deal, but you want to try to kind of avoid touching it afterwards for any oils on your skin. So the next thing you want to do uh, is you want to figure out where your graphic is going to go. Um, typically we, we draw center lines on the transfer tape, uh, so you can, and, and a level line, so you can kind of figure out where on your vehicle or on the surface you're going to be applying it to, you want it to be. Um, chances are you don't have a, a a stabilo, uh, which is a, a pencil that you can draw on on vehicles and wipe it off afterwards. Um, so a, a trick to figuring out and and marking lines on a vehicle uh, is to use tape, um, which you're going to need for the installation, anyways. Um, a couple pieces of tape. Say, eh, you know, a rough estimate. You're going to want to find a, a, a level line on the vehicle itself. Let's say we're going to put this 12 inches down from this, this top line. So we're going to go and put our tape at 12 and mark it. And doesn't really matter where these pieces go, just as long as they're where you're gonna, you know, put this thing. Um, and also, I want to come in to the center, or wherever you want you want to put it. Call 23 the center. I think it's actually more like 24, but yeah. 
we're gonna say 23 is the same. Okay, so you have your, your, your vertical line and your horizontal line. If you wanna go so far as to then put a piece of tape that runs that line, you don't have, have to mark it actually. So this top edge is going to be our, our horizontal line that we want. And this inside edge here is going to be our, our vertical line. So we take this and put a couple pieces of tape on the top, like so. I'm going to line it up we have this line here in line with this and there and our vertical line where we want it I'm just going to tape that on so it just hangs okay now this is very important you don't want anything under your graphics you're going to want to take off all this tape underneath before you apply. A little wasteful, but you know, if you don't have the correct tools to begin with, then you know, this is the best way to do it. And I'm sure you can figure out ways to make it less wasteful. But now it's perfectly aligned. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make a hinge at the top with a long piece of tape. Ideally, you want it to cover the whole width of this graphic. If you don't and you start to peel uh, the backer, sometimes it can kind of pull in and tear a little bit so you just want to make sure that it's it, it doesn't do that when, when you're doing the application. Next up you're going to do the actual application and for that you're going to need some kind of squeegee a tool. Um, you can use a credit card. Uh, typically if you're using a credit card maybe you want to wrap a little paper towel or even like a little washcloth or something around it just to give it a little uh, friction release um, or you can use it you can use the hard edge too but uh, that, that can grab sometimes and, and kind of uh, uh, drag it along and, and cause wrinkles and such so you kind of want to be careful about that especially if you're new to doing this. So um, the squeegee has a felt side, so it, it moves nice and easy. What you're going to want to do is take your graphic, fold it up, and peel off the backer. Just, just a little bit though, okay? Maybe a little bit more than a third of the way. We're going to hold the backer down and pull the whole thing down and pull it tight. And again, with the, the felt side, start in the middle and just lightly squeegee back and forth. Flattening it to the surface. Okay. Once it's down a little bit, you pull the backer more and squeeze you more. And you just keep doing this for the whole thing. 
you can you can hold under here. It's fine. It's not gonna ruin it if if you're touching the adhesive side. Um, but you gotta hold it out away from the surface a little bit. If you don't, you can sometimes get like a a bunching or something like that. The nice thing about this material is it's very forgiving, so you can kind of kind of snap it up if, if you make a mistake or it sticks down weird or you get a wrinkle or, or a big bubble um, you can very quickly snap it um, and it should be fine especially with the transfer tape on it um, but just you know very evenly We do the whole thing down, kind of go over it again, and it's applied. Now all you have to do is take off the masking tape hinge and the two pieces up here. And peel the, the top layer, which is just transfer tape. Might be a little hard to, to get at. You always want to peel your, your transfer tape kind of diagonally. Um, it's a little less likely to rip. And if you kind of grab it so that your hands spread out the, the the uh, force. And there it is. Voila! Your graphic is installed. Now, you might get, I, I didn't, um, kind of unfortunately, um, but you might get some bubbles, um, especially if you don't apply it evenly and hold it out. You just try to throw it on there all at once, you're going to get bubbles. But um, if you do get bubbles, you can either try to peel it back. Um, you really don't want to do too much pulling on, on here. If it's hot out, this material will stretch. Um, Conversely, if it does wrinkle or something and, and you're having a really hard time getting it out, you can use heat from either a heat gun, like a paint heat gun, or uh, even a blow dryer. Um, so, you know, you get something like that, you can kind of pull it out and just very gently heat it up. And, and smooth it back out again. If you get a bubble, I don't know if I can just create a bubble here, but um, you can use uh, an X-Acto or a pin or something small and sharp and just kind of make a very small hole, pop it, and you can just smooth that out with your thumb. All right, so that's how you install final graphics 101.